The soul is not born, it does not die, it was not produced from anyone. Unborn, eternal, it is not slain, though the body is slain, so says the Upanishad. Yes. When you visit a place, have you ever felt that you have been to this place before? Or when you meet a person, have you ever felt that you know everything about this person? Past life and reincarnation. Let's talk. Welcome to Big Show Prime. It's me Alexa with my boyfriend Suresh Menon. One of the biggest instances of proof of reincarnation in India is of Shanti Devi who was born in 1926 in Delhi. When she was four years old, in 1930, she began to claim to remember her past life. She claimed that she belonged to the city of Mathura and that she had passed away 10 days after giving birth to a child. She even divulged the name of her husband as one Kedarnath who was a local trader in Mathura. Her school headmaster interviewed her and decided to investigate. He actually went to Mathura and located this person called Kedarnath who had actually lost his life 9 to 10 years earlier. Kedarnath decided to investigate and travel to Delhi in disguise along with his 10 year old son. He was shocked when this young Shanti Devi instantly recognized him and her son from her previous birth. She shared several personal details and Kedarnath was convinced that Shanti Devi was indeed a reincarnation of his ex-wife Lugdi Devi. Kedarnath may have wished to live with her again in this life. <laughs> <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi, fascinated by this, set up a commission to inquire into this. The commission travelled to Mathura with Shanti Devi and she was able to recognize all of Kedarnath's family members, including his grandfather. But you know what? Kedarnath got caught failing to keep his promises. Yeah. Kedarnath had made several promises to Lugdi Devi when she was on her deathbed. It was revealed that he did not keep any of the promises. <laughs> Shanti Devi had reportedly narrated her near-death experience when she was Lugdi Devi in her previous birth. Sadly, uh, with a woman's feel of guilt in those times, Shanti Devi never married in her lifetime. That is sad. There are several other real-life stories of people remembering their past lives. Reincarnation and the concept of past lives has existed for thousands of years spanning back to the ancient Celtic, Greek, Asian and Indian traditions. We all have past lives. There is no such thing as a new soul. All of us have been reincarnating for millions of years and in truth, there is no death, only that of the body. Exactly. Why can't we remember our past life? All knowledge is stored deep in our subconscious mind. Our brains are not sufficiently developed to access all the subconscious, but only a very small part of it. So, are we still evolving? Probably. You have experienced this past life regression, haven't you? Is that important now, Alexa? Of course, yes. You found your soulmate of your last birth, who now lives in a distant country, didn't you? So what? I want to announce the name of the person in this birth to the viewers. <laughs> Just shut up, Alexa. You are so mean. Okay, listen. I won't tell the name. Good. But I want to tell the viewers that Suresh has identified his soulmate from his previous birth met her several times and they have planned to be involved in so many things this birth too. Were you a cockroach in your last birth? Yeah, maybe. Climbing up everyone's legs and making them run helter skelter. <laughs> okay, tell us. Is it possible to remember our past lives? Of course, yes. As the past life, this information is part of our subconscious mind. There are techniques to find out about our past life. They involve spiritual processes. As long as you do not convert everyone to a Buddha, it's fine. Every person who meditates regularly develops psychic abilities and intuition, even if they are not seeking to do so. Ultimately, this person will have a wide range of psychic abilities. One of these will be the ability to know about their past lives and maybe even others. Alexa, what are you doing? I am playing meditation music for everyone to begin meditating.
Actually, such individuals, due to their spiritual practice, they develop sufficient detachment to ensure that these past life memories do not interfere with their present lives. Sometimes it can be beneficial too, isn't it? Well, yes, past life regression is adopted as a technique to cure several psychological ailments. Did you say psychological ailments? Yes. So, what was your psychological problem when you underwent the therapy? <laughs> I always knew you were a psycho. <laughs> what matters to us is this life now. What we were in the past means nothing in comparison to what we are doing now. Thankfully. If we live a life right, dedicated to service to others, we do not have to worry about our past life because that is past. We do not have to worry about our future or next life either because our right action in this life guarantees our future spiritual evolution. Hey, wait. What? Is that not the principle of what is called karma? Exactly. That is the principle of the karma. Sometimes when we meet people, we instantly recognize them. Sometimes we fall in love with them too. I am sure some of you may have experienced that. Love at first sight, right? Uh, not necessarily, but could be. Soulmates. Could that word have originated from this phenomena? Yes, it did originate from this. What was your experience? My experience, yes, it was actually instant recognition and no great introduction was needed. Uh, the character behavior wise, I seem to know everything about the person, my soulmate I mean. How do we know if we are reincarnated? Some signs that you have been reincarnated include recurring dreams, out of place memories, a very strong intuition, moment of deja vu, fears and phobias, birthmarks and so many more. Birthmarks. You should say that incident too. Ian Stevenson. Oh yes, birthmarks. One frequently cited instance in India was studied in the 1960s by Ian Stevenson, a psychologist. An Indian boy, Titu Singh, claimed to remember his past life of a man named Suresh Verma an electronic spare shopkeeper in Agra. This boy had birthmarks on the two sides of his head, one signifying the entry of a bullet and the other exit of the bullet. Stevenson proved that this was true and this boy actually helped identify his murderer and solve a long pending murder case. Amazing, isn't it? I have these several holes on the lower half of my body. Could that be any indication? <laughs> Alexa, as a matter of fact, yes, holes are loved by cockroaches. <laughs> what do the various religions and scriptures say about reincarnation? I can keep talking on this subject, but the purpose here is to kindle an interest in the subject among the viewers so as to give them a better start in their voyage of discovery and learning. Yes, there are proven medical psychological and societal explanations for this and your experience with any of them does not necessarily mean that they can be attributed to a past life. But for those who believe in reincarnation, these experiences may be more significant. I personally request viewers to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you leave a comment, I will send you a link to the Facebook profile of Suresh's soulmate. In private. What? This is me Alexa and Suresh Menon. Signing off this episode.